fever for boxing? Yeah, neither do I. But when I do, I usually pick up the old school Mike Tyson's punch out or the new school fight night. But what about when you're on the go? Well, why not try the lovely boxing fever on the GBA? Hell, the handhelds need love in the vault too. Now you may be looking at this and saying, man, that game sucks. But really, it's not that bad. And honestly, it looks kind of good for a handheld. The gameplay isn't half bad either. You can hit high or low, which will get you through the easier levels, but eventually you're going to need to use those moves you learned while beating up that torture victim in training. Poor guy has all sorts of crap coming out of his head and looks like he's been taken out of the freezer. Anyways, no time to talk about them. It's time to fight! Now, if you're looking for over-strategic boxing, you're not going to find it in Boxing Fever. There's not much you can do besides punch a guy in the face or gut and maybe throw in a few special moves. You can do an uppercut or hit him with a hook, maybe throw in a small combo, which doesn't happen very often because they block so damn much, except for now. <laughs> oh, sweet. Knock him down. And now I'm humping the air for some reason. Just hump it so good. Yeah! All I can say is that the game is not that bad if you're looking for a boxing title on the go. The characters are all pretty unique and well-balanced. It gets harder as you climb the ranks, and the art style is actually pretty cool. I mean, look at the background here. Holy crap, the guy has a tank! You can call me stupid all you want, and I'm sure a lot of you have, but one thing I've learned over the years is not to mess with a guy who's got a tank pointed at you. Knockout! You 